Homage to the fundamental teacher Buddha Shakyamuni, homage to the wisdom warrior Manjushri, homage to all the lineage masters, the supreme profound and sublime Dharma is difficult to meet even in a billion years, but now I have been fortunate enough to have seen it, heard it, received it, and kept it. I vow to attain the true meaning of the Tathagata. In order to benefit all sentient beings, let's generate the supreme Bodhicitta. Today, let's continue with the teaching of transform suffering and happiness into enlightenment. I'm not quite sure yet what to teach after this particular text. I'm not, I don't think I will give the teaching on the previous texts except analects uh, uh, for Confucius. I'm not quite sure about the other classes yet. Previously, I thought about giving teachings on uh, Madhyamika Vatara, uh, but uh, we'll see. The main reason of giving teachings on transforming suffering and happiness into enlightenment it is because I think such beings are suffering quite a bit, especially nowadays people really are terrified of problems and obstacles and sufferings. And it is because how the world has already changed and there are so many um, there are so many factors that could change and uh, so many factors of insecurity. So in such a way, everyone's suffering. Therefore, at this particular time, to have a pithy instruction, to have some method to work with all of these suffering is in fact quite appropriate. Therefore, to give the teaching of um, this text is really a wonderful timing. Of course, it would be really great of not having any suffering you don't really necessarily have to go and search for suffering, but you don't have to worry of running out of different problems at all, because everyone will encounter problems and sufferings. I remember that I watched a program around the New Year's, and uh, uh, the journalists were interviewing people on the streets, asking them, are you happy? And people would say, I am happy. Happy, I'm very happy. I think maybe they pretended that uh, because if you sent out another group of journalists and asked people, are you suffering? Do you have problems? I think lots of people would say yes to that as well. Uh, in terms of problems and sufferings, in fact, there are times where uh, there are lots of different sufferings that's added together. Uh, there are suffering of suffering, that's uh, suffering of sufferings. You have two or three problems going on together, even dozens of them adding on to, uh, adding on to each other at the same time, especially after the pandemic. I think there are lots of people who would feel lots of pressure in terms of their finances. And I think maybe the monastics don't have, a, uh, maybe they don't have lots of feelings towards this, but for lay practitioners, they would have loans and mortgage on their cars and house, and uh, it would be really difficult for them to pay them back. Um, so all of our original patterns, life patterns, and the way we live the life, I think, is not going to get that back in the next three to five years. Uh, in terms of the general global politics, there are changes as well. We can see that just through watching different domestic and international news. And it seems that there's so much stress uh, between countries. In terms of uh, in in terms of personal level, people's relationship and their, their family life and their life, there's so many different kinds of problems also add on to each other. Uh, there are people who would get sick and would worry, did I get the virus? And they don't really want to go to hospital. Uh, of course, whenever there are such problems, uh, you should learn to accept it. That's the very entrance level of practice. Even non practitioners could do that. But now we're talking about it. We're talking about not only you should accept it, you should feel happy. Like, ah, there's an opportunity for me to practice upon it. Uh, it is not very practical to ask you to do this right away, of course. Uh, 
But I think you can start off with thinking that I can accept the suffering to start with instead of I want it to be over. For example, um, if you get sick, you want illness to be over, or uh, get criticized and slandered by others, or uh, people will chase after you because of the debt. So there are so many different kinds of wishes seeing your mind wishing all of this suffering would be over but if you're a better practitioner you would think instead of uh, uh, let all of the sufferings to be over you would think well there is an opportunity for me to practice it's wonderful that now I have a problem now I have some sufferings going on if you have such a rare realization of course that's really wonderful but if you only listen to it um, uh, without a practice, uh, it won't work. But if you practice on it, you won't be afraid of suffering anymore. Uh, if you continue to practice whatever problems you would encounter in human life, you will be able to face them bravely. And you won't be scared at all. You can accept it with your own ways. That's a very great uh, characteristic and quality you can have. And every one of us really need that. Does people, do people have suffering? Of course. And once you have suffering, it, uh, if it doesn't harm you or uh, doesn't disturb you, I think this kind of uh, realization or inner stability is quite admirable. Whatever you do in samsara, if you can have this kind of mentality, I think you will be able to su succeed. Um, so we I think this, star this teaching is in fact quite important and very timely. Rather than when we talk about the Prasangika school from Madhyamika, talking about self-characterizing uh, essence or the true cessation uh, and the three and four causes and so on, it could be useful, especially when you deeply an analyze it, but still a little bit far away from our actual life. And therefore, over here it talks about how everyone have problems and have sufferings. Therefore, it is the practical uh, advice uh, for us to practice. Uh, previously, we've already talked about how you can practice up on uh, renunciation. Uh, if you have renunciation, you will be able to renounce the suffering as well. And uh, you can practice up on uh, taking refuge. You will feel not alone anymore. You have a place to uh, rely. The third one is <coughs> We're going to talk about the third one today, <coughs> that is to overcome arrogance. I am going to give you the oral transmission. Deva la cavana, demora la lupi deva la cana. Tigia deva la mbato gusu, niente di per usanda. Per cu tamani a chiicciola. A chiicciola, c'è per usciago. Nia gela, sottana, dobbiamo sentire il genio, dimmer. Tirtava con tirici, un nerzer, non sente tita. Tita che ho, dimmer, tan tarna c'è maro, niente di genio. TV prend à la 
Чухтах so the next one, the third point, point C, using suffering to overcome arrogance, as I explained before, we should pick a practice that is the closest to us, the most suitable to us, to work on our problems and our sufferings. If you only talk about the methods in theory, talking about I am not only going to accept suffering, I am going to be happy about it. If you only word it, uh, talking about it, I don't think it would actually benefit you in terms of your inner happiness. In fact, whenever there is any suffering ha uh, happen to you, it's very difficult to endure that. People, some people would even uh, lose faith of uh, living because of such suffering. I think it also depends on people's different karma. There are people who have uh, a positive, more positive karma. They are able to endure suffering and suffering would be that excruciating for them but for people with negative karma uh, along with many complex uh, conditions that they would feel lots of a torment so it's very difficult to control how you would react when suffering comes especially when there is some illness there are people who would die in peace without much uh, illness torturing them and would die very peacefully and there are people who would die with excruciating pain and illness at the time of death they would cry out loud and so on even some of them are great masters that is because it, uh, the suffering would continuously to torture them and at that moment if you want to say that I'm so happy that I am suffering it would be kind of difficult sometimes we have the mental suffering it could be endurable and sometimes it could be physical suffering such as headache and so on it will be very difficult to endure and at that time to say I'm happy would be very difficult. Anyhow, if you know the method and could practice at the time, it would still be very useful. Uh, as previously we've uh, studied that, uh, I, as previously um, stated, I myself had encountered many difficulties and obstacles um, and uh, many things that created lots of uh, uh, pain for myself. But I tried very best to transform them into virtuous deeds and at the end it turned out not not uh, became uh, 
Adversities or unfavorable conditions, but in some ways uh, they all transformed into things that had more value and uh, more meaningful. So first of all, don't be afraid. Whenever you're ill, for example, all such beings do get ill. If you can practice in such a way uh, with renunciation, that's wonderful.